smoke and, and it, the smell of whatever was burning in there. Channel 11 following more breaking news right now. We're starting to hear from neighbors after an intense fire gutted two apartments and a business last night. Channel 11's Mike Holden has been live in Duquesne all morning along Grant Avenue. We see Mike got up super close to all this destruction and Mike since the breaking news at 11, we got a lot of new information about what happened out there. And now that it's lighter out this morning, Catherine, we can see the aftermath at a closer view. Bricks scattered everywhere, children's toys, a vacuum cleaner. Even this car has extensive damage where you can see some of the bricks are resting here. And what you're hearing off in the background are a lot of neighbors just waking up to check this site out. They say it's a true miracle. No one was hurt or killed, but they say it's an extremely challenging moment moving forward here in Duquesne. Now, thick smoke, look right here at this video, filled the air, making it both difficult to breathe and see. Firefighters rushed to Grant Avenue just before 10 o'clock last night. When they got here, they saw flames shooting from the side of the building and out of the roof, the fire almost spreading to a neighboring church. Now, the city of Duquesne police chief confirms there is extensive damage, and the two families living here have lost just about everything. Everything. He told us police officers were first on scene and managed to get everyone out before the building was consumed. A barber shop was housed in the lower portion of the building, and that has been gutted as well. We talked to a neighbor who described the commotion. Listen in. It was real intense at some point, and I came out because, I, like I said, I heard the explosion and the, the smell of whatever was burning in there. So when I got over here, maybe about 45 minutes into it, it collapsed. The building collapsed. Keyword building collapse. This is the aftermath. Brick, charred debris scattered all over the place. And you ask yourself, how is these families going to bounce back? Both of them are being assisted by the American Red Cross. At this point, no word on exactly what sparked this fire. We're going to work to get answers. So look for the latest for Channel 11 News at noon and 5 o'clock tonight. Reporting live this morning from Duquesne, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News. All right.